Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your very late night. It's almost sort of morning. Uh, whatever. Very late night. Smackdown and AEW Rampage review. Um, didn't watch these shows because I was enjoying life there. I was enjoying some life. Um, so... It was my birthday. Now it's no longer bur my birthday. It's freaking midnight. But yeah, uh, happy birthday to me. And I also want to thank all the birthday wishes. Um, so you can say, thankfully, I, I did something on my birthday and I enjoyed it. Um, and I can de definitely tell you it was more fun uh, than probably wait w watching wrestling. Remember back in the day? You know, you probably wouldn't fucking miss wrestling even if it's on your birthday and whatever. You would do all the fucking fun shit early on in the day and you just gotta make sure you watch wrestling because you are a big wrestling fan. That ain't the case here, folks, anymore. Wrestling is not worth fucking wasting, like, your fucking day watching shit. You, you gotta do shit with your life, okay? So, and yes, ladies and gentlemen... The holiest man himself is able to drink his Coca-Cola again. So grab your Coca-Colas or whatever the hell you drink. Drink it magnificently there. Oh shoot, oh shoot, cheers. Oh. Ah, it's good stuff, people. Makes you want to fuck some bitch to be black. Has me bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. Especially on my fucking birthday. Alright. Fuck it, there's nothing better than fucking fucking chicks on your birthday, people. Hell yeah, it's good stuff. Alright. So let's talk about SmackDown and AEW Rampage. Just do it quick. All I have to say is I'm kind of glad I missed the show. So there you go. So SmackDown kicked off with the Usos versus the Street Profits. For some reason they had a match. I don't know, you got the Usos like, Yo, Us! The challenge, Us! Or something. Apparently that happened. And then they, and then it ends in a disqualification. Who the fuck cares? Someone calls Paul Heyman and his Brock Lesnar's ringtone. Biggie, as a manager, sees it all happen, and I just think this is just some quirky shit. And then you got people saying, you know what? Maybe this could lead to Brock Lesnar attacking Roman Reigns and causing Biggie a cash in. And I just think if Biggie's doing shit like this. He should not be world fucking champion. Seriously, he should not. Okay, is a is a joke. It's probably even more of a joke than Kofi Kingston winning the title. Even though Biggie looks more credible than fucking Kofi. At least with Kofi, even though it was the last minute shit, it was just stupid. At least when you had Kofi, you you kind of were building up, even though it was last minute. At least fucking, you weren't fucking having him as a joke. I will say that. Even though he was still a joke doing the New Day shit. At least you kind of tried building him up. This is just some mid-card goofy shit. <coughs> this is not made of any caliber crap, people. Then Beck Lynch comes out and says that she's been, uh, she left when she was preparing to, whatever. <coughs> <coughs> I still got caught, but I think I'm okay. I just gotta deal with it, I guess. Becklin says that she's been preparing to come back and win back the title, blah, blah, blah. Um, Becky claims Bianca shouldn't blame her for not being ready at SummerSlam. Bianca comes out and says she's bitch. I've been, bitch, I've been champion for 132 days, bitch. You know, by last in six seconds, I won't make an excuse for losing. And I'm saying I want a rematch for the title tonight, bitch. And then y'all, you bitch, say no, bitch. Mm-hmm. Let me fucking say this about Nikki Bella. So Nikki Bella went on to, or just people in general. They complained that, oh, you know, oh, Bianca lost her title in like, uh, like seconds. Instead of having a compet. First of all, how would it make sense for them to have a competitive match if there was not even a story? If anything, even though I hate Becky Lynch, I don't give a fuck about Becky Lynch. But fuck God's sakes, at least with what happened, 
it leads to a story. It makes you be makes people wonder if Becky Lynch is a heel or a face. If you see how she won, you know what I mean. Apparently, she did like a cheap punch, and then fuck it, she won with her stupid rock bottom looking move. And, 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 come on here, like seriously, is <coughs> at least it's fucking progressing to a storyline, and then they will have a competitive match. It makes sense that match was only in seconds. When literally there was nothing to give a fuck about, and it was like a good moment. And but oh, the women should not have short matches. But apparently, if men can fucking have matches that are in seconds, and not just that, like literally, Nikki Bella won the top women. What she won the Divas title in seconds, didn't she? But now she's gonna say, oh, you know, we work so hard. Who gives a fuck? So what? So women can't fucking lose apparently in seconds now. Because apparently it was the revolution. Who the fuck cares a shit about your revolution? And then you guys could say, Oh, but people complain about Kofi losing to Brock. Well, guess what? Who gives shit? Kofi's a fucking jobber. And again, like seriously, who really cares? Short matches help make moments, people. Okay? Uh, Dolph Ziggler asked Tony Storm to be in his corner for some reason. I doubt he's fucking a gay dude. Like, what the fuck? Why does he want some fat ass? And even though I'm just questioning, why isn't, like, here's the thing about Tony Storm. Why isn't she on television if she's, like, apparently debuted? I believe, like, since she debuted, she wasn't even on fucking TV. Like, come on here. At least we got big fat ass of a woman and she can't be on television? Like, not gonna lie. You know, that's actually fucking a good women's wrestler. But no, she's not on television to probably showcase her ass. And Tony denies her offer and says she's rooting for Boogs. Wow, very storytelling. I don't know. And then Boogs defeats fucking Ziggler. And Nakamura just fucking acts like an autistic read tone. Like, oh, I'm King Nakamura. Oh, uh, Chucky Wong Tong Nong Nong. Uh, then Becky versus Bianca's made for Extreme Rules. And they will have a contract signing next week. Wow, who the fuck cares? Literally, what's the point of fucking Sonya Dykeville and on Adam Pierce being GMs? They're like the worst GMs possible, seriously. Cesaro beats uh, so Cesaro beats Steph Rollins by disqualification. Apparently, they had a match for some reason uh, because Seth Rollins used the chair and he tries to be like Edge apparently. And after the match, Rollins puts Cesaro in an Edge's crossface. Apparently, Edge came out with a chair to stop Rollins, and this feud is still continuing. Which, I don't know why. Um, uh, so yeah. During SmackDown, they show a preview of the new NXT setup, and I really don't give a shit. Paul Heyman tells Roman Reigns that Brock Lesnar called him and told him that he would be on next week's SmackDown. So yeah, next week's SmackDown is going to be a big SmackDown. It is going to be in Madison Square Garden, and they're calling it Super SmackDown, because Raw wrestlers will be there and whatever. I mean, I could have gone. Think about it. Maybe it would be good if I actually bought a ticket. Maybe there's tickets still available. Maybe I could go, but here's the thing. Like, you have to have the stupid app to... Uh, you have to download an app to get the ticket, blah, blah, blah. And, I mean, I'm hoping we don't need a ticket in the future. Like, the app for a ticket in the future. I would rather just get a ticket. And not just that... All in, in all honesty, man, like, really, SmackDown, is, is it really that worth it Cause, uh, to really go to a SmackDown which is probably going to be shit? I mean, I know there is one match that's going to happen. And, you know, it would be cool. Like, think about it. Like, again, next week, SmackDown, Brock Lesnar's going to be there. Edge is going to be there. And apparently he's going to face Rollins for some fucking reason. And, Rain, like, you know, it actually would be a good idea. But, again, like, when the show is literally most, mostly dog shit, is it really worth it? Obviously, it's going to be good for the experience, you know? But I guess in the future, because our parents of Iris here is going to be in Brooklyn, and I think I might want to be there. Hopefully, Edge will be on that show along with Lesnar. And just in general, you know, it's some cool shit, you know? But we'll see what happens, people. And yeah, Ed Edge says, Ah, Seth Rollins is playing a dangerous game, and he, I will end it. And then he challenges Rollins to a rematch. I understand you're trying to do something for Madison Square Garden. You're trying to do something big for SmackDown. But it's going to basically be the same fucking match. Really? If you're going to do... And again, Edge won the fucking feud. 
he won the match. Why would he want a fucking rematch? You know what I mean? Like, I love Edge. But why, why is this fucking happening again? Like, seriously. And it's not even like a rematch really needed, honestly. I, I, I guess they're trying to do the whole thing where, you know... You know, the fucking wrestler has to get the fucking win back. And then fucking... They'll have a tiebreaker. It's basically that sort of generic feud. But it's like... This is not even that interesting. Like, I love Edge. But come on here. The... What was... The feud is done. What well, you base the feud off of is that, like, you know, about what the whole long term storytelling about Edge's neck. You know, Seth Rollins was about to fucking kill him or whatever. That's done. Now the fucking feud is about Rollins wanting to be Edge. Oh, uh, he wants to be more dangerous or whatever. I mean, if by that logic, fucking Dolph Ziggler should be feuding with Billy Gunn or fucking Zig or fucking HPK, but whatever. Kevin Owens holds the Kevin Owens show with special guest Happy Carbon. Um, Corbin says he brought a friend and it's Logan Paul. Logan Paul is on SmackDown for some reason, really. Logan Paul. KO says it makes sense. They're hanging out together because they're both awful. I mean, Happy Corbin's not actually not that terrible, but I didn't really give a shit to see what happened. Logan gives a hundred, uh, a KO a hundred bucks and tells Kevin Owens that he looks like he needs it. And Kevin Owens tells uh, Logan to leave and never come back. Logan shoves Kevin Owens, and Corbin takes uh, out Kevin Owens with a choke slam. You know, it's really sad that a fucking YouTube celebrity who is fucking cringy as fuck and inspires so many other cringy people in the world, all this fucking stupid generation of fucking retards liking stupid shit, and then he gets to fucking push Kevin Owens. To make him look retarded, even though Kevin Owens, you know, we're supposed to believe he's a fucking badass, the stone cold of this generation. And he's just gonna get pushed by fucking cringy ass Logan Hall. Or Paul, whatever. Congrats, that's fucking. Yeah. Uh, Sami Zayn defeats Dominic, I don't have my fans, whatever. Naomi. Ah uh, yeah, bitch! I want a rash, bitch. Mm-hmm. Naomi, I'm, Naomi is here. I am queen. I'm here on SmackDown, bitch. I want a match. Mm-hmm, bitch. I want my opportunity. And then fucking Sonya Deville tells Naomi, I'm busy, bitch. Mm. And then fucking you can ask me next week, whatever. And who the fuck cares? So is this is this the story? She wants a match. That's all she. That's gonna be the fucking shit. Whatever. The Usos attack fucking Finn Balor before making his entrance and the Street Profits comes out and chase them away. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so what's up now for next week's Smackdown? Brock Lesnar returns. Becky Lynch and Bianca Blair's contract signing. Cameron Owens versus Happy Corbin. Edge versus Seth Rollins, which I guess that's intriguing, but it's like, what's the point? Seth Rollins obviously going to probably win, sadly. Even though I hate fucking Seth Rollins is what's going to happen. I'd rather have Ben just fucking beats him again. But they're not going to probably do that. Because there's something probably extreme. Uh, Roman Reigns defeats Finn Balor to retain the Universal title. Thank you. Thank you. This needed to be, like I guess, a birthday gift. Because if Ro Balor won, that would be fucking retarded. But literally, here's what's retarded, though. Balor still fucking fought. Okay, come on. This is unrealistic. Balor, who's literally a small gay twink. And he's still kicking out moves that almost beat fucking Reigns when he got beaten up by fucking the stupid Usos. How realistic is that? That is so retarded. But whatever, I don't give a shit because I. Uh, it was a stupid match. This uh, Balor sucks. He's gay. He just does stupid fucking kicks. He's not entertaining. Roman Reigns does stuff. Like, I saw highlights of this. Roman did power moves and shit, and the guy still kicked out. Thankfully, Reigns won, but what, what's the fucking difference? You got now Smart saying that, oh, the Balor should come back as a demon, because there's like red lighting that happened after the match. And then, oh, the, the demon, the demon, the demon's coming back! <laughs> like, shut the fuck up about the demon! Fuck the demon! The demon is gay! Finn Balor is gay! Who gives a shit about Finn Balor and his demon? He's a cosplay as a fucking faggot carnage! God damn.
damn it, the demon my ass, he's fucking gay. What? The demon, he's literally a cosplay. It's not a character. What else is out as a demon? He's gonna be fucking, what, 99% of the time will be a gay fucking vanilla midget ass. Fuck off with this demon shit. Oh, the demon's coming back. Who cares? I don't want to see this shit I'm beside you fucking fatty smarks. Fuck. I hope the demon... Uh, if he ever faces... I hope Reigns defeats him. Fuck. So, let's move on Rampage. Overall, SmackDown was shit. Not needed to watch. If you had a birthday, I hope you guys missed it. Uh, that should be a reminder in general for wrestling. Because wrestling is not worth fucking wasting your fucking time if, unless you have nothing to fucking do. If you got something to do, do something. Uh, so let's talk about Rampage. Apparently CM Punk was on commentary. Who the fuck cares? So Malachi Black defeats fucking Lee Johnson. And then Dustin Rhodes comes out and says, It's not your turn yet or whatever. Then Eddie Kingston and Miro have a face off before their match. It was retarded. They all got they done some stupid ball because they're trying to make people intrigued for some reason. Like why they hate each other? What's the story? Oh, just I want to be the Mad King or I want to be the champion. Whatever. That was stupid. Chris Stadler defeats Rebel and hey, Jamie Hater in a handicap match. Who the fuck cares? Unrealistic, whatever, but hey, you know, but hey, she did for the children, I'm an alien. And she's gonna fucking, you know, cause she's gonna face Britt Baker, who fuck cares. And then the main event was Darby Allen defeats Daniel Garcia, again, a jobber that no one no fucking knows, and he's struggling to beat this guy. Why should we believe that this guy is credible to face CM Punk, but whatever. Then 2.0 2 attacks Darby, but then CM Punk leaves the commentary. Distracts 2.0, and then Darby does the fucking stupid suicide dive, and Tom Punk and Darby have a nose off. They kept touching each other's noses, and then they have stupid face off, and that's how they ended the fucking show. So that was fucking Rampage. It was more like a one hour rim job, okay? It was fucking gee. Okay? So... Finn Bauer is gay, he sucks, fuck you smarts that like him and want the demon to return. Um, fuck, Fi fuck Seth Rollins too, fuck all these gay wrestlers and shit. And fuck